We don't want people to video and things. Yeah. But if you ask permission, then we'll get take your details and things like that. Well, the thing is, but, um, like I said to your friend, you could be casing the joint. I'll So welcome back to the channel guys. Today, we've just stumbled upon this uh, Newark Marina. Now, I don't get to see anything like this where I'm from. So as I was walking past, I thought, let's go and have a look inside at uh, what looks to me like some very, very posh boats and yachts. So yeah, wow, look at this. That one's called My Way. And there's a little hangar in there where someone's doing some work on one. That one's called Mackey. But wow, you don't ever get to see underneath these, do you? And look at the props, propping them up like that. Imagine the effort that would have been required to get them upright like that. Wow. And it looks like uh, in that little hut there, they're just doing some maintenance and maybe painting the underneath. Because that one certainly looks like it's been painted recently under there, look. Compared to that. But yeah, let's have a little wander around. See what we can find. Because this is just amazing. The ocean mist. Wow. Broom 455. Not really nice, isn't there? And this is obviously how they uh, bring them in and out of the water with the special crane there. Four wheels, lots of pulleys to lift it up. And you've got some guy under there with a jet wash cleaning the underneath. And that one's called Boss White. But that is certainly not something you see every day. Look at that, what a sight, eh? And this is obviously where they, uh, they launch it. In this little ramp. Or where they lift it out with the... Um, yeah, this is where the, the winch goes either side, ain't it? Where the wheels then run across this little bit of concrete here. And they pull it out of this uh, this bay. But you often see marinas like this where people pay a little fee to store their boats. But I've never had a little wander around one. And there will be people that watch the videos that have boats. And there'll be others like uh, me <laughs> who will just love to have one. But the, the one thing that I'm not keen on is the locks. Yeah, it sounds good, don't it? cruising down the canal or the river with your boat but who's going to open all them locks for you when you try and get up and down those gradients <laughs> look at that one naughty boy naughty boy free all covered up there inside and they start to get a little bit bigger down the back here we've got the zest that looks like it's got a big under lower deck area underneath I uh, don't know the technical terms <laughs> and that one's for sale there look 69,000 pound you got the little hatch that will take you maybe down to where the bed is wow but that's probably more of our price range, guys. <laughs> a canoe, a kayak. That'll be nice, look, standing on the back of it. Maybe jumping in. Even got fake grass on it, look. A 
and here we've got another ramp going down to launch the boats into the water marina berth holder toilet and showers quite good facilities then it looks quite a new block just have a look round mate yeah I'm making a video about the place having a look round as long as you know what you're doing it's just we saw you here with the mask and everything yeah it's not balaclava it's just uh, to keep me warm okay you know, no the office was just wondering what you were yeah sometimes i get a reflection of myself in the in the glass right and i don't like to show myself on my own video okay. <laughs> that was nice of him weren't it he asked me what i was doing so i told him he thought I was wearing a balaclava, but I'm not. I'm just wearing a hat and a mask. So, just politely communicate with them like human beings. And he understood. He says, yeah, no problem. I suppose it does look a bit weird, don't it? But the boats go all the way around this place. They've tried to make uh, as many in and out parts as they possibly can. And the whole thing that we're walking on now is like an island as the boats are moored around the outside of it. But look at that one. It's even got its own boat attached on the back. It's amazing, isn't it? And they've even got their own telehandler. So yeah. It's a lovely marina, very well kept, all this uh, new stonage and you can clearly see all the, um, the steel holding it back and all the ramps, everything around the place looks uh, recently refurbished. So as we walk out, I'll read a little bit from the website, it says Newark Marina is the perfect place to bring your boat. Situated on the River Trent in Newark, Nottinghamshire, boasting a friendly, relaxed environment with years of experience. Newark Marina provides a comprehensive and professional service to all boat owners. These include mooring, hard standing, servicing and repair, boat sales and a well-stocked on-site chandlery. We have trained Volvo Pent engineers, electricians and GRP specialists, making the marina a one-stop shop. Wow, and look, even companies like this come round and give you boat canopies, spray hoods, upholstery, spray dodgers <laughs> and sail covers. So by having your boat here, you can even get all these specialist trades to come and make it better for you but wow and it looks like inside here as well they actually do boat sales and this is that chandlery shop as well look let's have a look at a few of the uh, advertisements 249,000 pounds wow hello hiya hiya uh, so we just ask your friend if uh, rather not walk, walk around videoing with masks on and things like that. What you've asked him, sorry? Uh, to stop filming and walk around with masks on, unless there's a reason for doing it. Yeah, I'm making a video about Newark Marina. And what it is, the mask, do you know if I see myself in the reflection, yeah. I don't want to be on my own video. Yeah. Do you should get you, that? Should you not ask permission before you do that? No, it's all publicly accessible, isn't it? You just walk in. No. All right. No, for, for not to. Say, so it does look very good for the customers seen people walk around with masks on oh has anybody complained yes oh i do apologize yeah. um right and okay this part, right if you if we don't want people to put video and things yeah but if you ask permission then we'll get take your details and things like that well the thing is like, um, like i just said to your friend you could be casing the joint oh you know? sorry mate i didn't hear the conversation yeah but so. have you ever heard of um pinak pinak videos on yeah. youtube yeah. so what it is you go into anywhere that's got an open gate yeah. And you just see how professional people are and how people behave to a camera. Yeah. So it's all a part of it. So when we come and ask permission, it sort of goes against the experiment. So yeah. you've politely come out, you've not been um, hostile at all, and you've actually just told me, you've yeah. told me politely yeah. that somebody has 
raise the concern about the camera, a customer of yours. Yeah. And your main priority is to make your customers happy, isn't it? So in, in yeah. my eyes, you've got a valid reason. Yeah. So, so from, yeah, so, that's been polite to me. Well, yeah. To be fair. So to be honest, mate, you've done very yeah. well. Thank you. You're not going to have a coffee, though. <laughs> <laughs> so to be, to be respectful of you, uh, I have had a bit walk around. Yeah. I've got about five minutes of content, so I do appreciate that. Yeah. I'm now going to leave. So, okay. yeah, no problem. That's it's a brilliant. Really, uh, you know, you know, people come around and photograph, you know, but they tend to come and ask permission. They'd say it looks a bit dodgy, but, you know, with that. but yeah. obviously you know, it could be case in the joints. Yeah. We don't know. I mean, we've obviously got security here, so that's what we're doing. Yeah, and you've got a valid point. But now I've explained to you like it's an experiment. Yeah. It's sort of makes sense don't it yeah yeah sure. okay, right thank you so much thank you, sir. Thank you. so there you go if you was going to deal with a man with a camera that's how you do it you just come out you tell us your concerns it doesn't look very good for the customers yeah a customer has said to me that they feel like you're casing the joint and their asset that they're paying that guy to store here their asset feels like um, it's at risk so, yeah, that's a valid enough reason for me. And as I say, we've already walked round. We've had a look at these beautiful uh, objects, <laughs> boats, yachts, machines, whatever you want to call them. And that one up there, look, 220,000 pound. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to leave this one here, guys. If you have enjoyed that, slightly different, then give it a thumbs up for me and I'll be seeing you on the next one. And look what we've got here, look, a security card reader. So you can even access the place out of hours. Wow, imagine having your own boat here and you can come and go whenever you want. Sounds good to me. See you on the next one, guys. Bye bye for now.